Hi everyone, I hope you are well and having a fantastic week. I have an audience with me today by the looks of it. Max is back yet again. As soon as I press record on this camera, he appears. He wasn't here like five seconds ago, but as soon as I press record, this little one decides to jump into the shop. But hey, we don't mind, we love Max, so he can stay. <laughs> So today's video is a little bit different. I'm gonna be talking about primers for oily and combination skin. You've probably heard me say a million times in my video and complain about my oily skin. And I know I shouldn't really complain because you know, people that have got dry skin don't want dry skin. Um, so there's always something, but it's so frustrating having oily skin. So I wanted to test out some of the primers that are on the market at the moment to see are any of them any good. Because I'm 45, maybe I'm a bit premenopausal, so perspiring a bit more. So I've got that on top of the oily skin. And the weather's been really great in London as well. So it's been really hot and humid. So I thought it was a really interesting time for me to actually put some of these primers to the test to see if they're any good. Before I get into the video, if you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing to the channel. Lots of videos coming your way fashion beauty lifestyle and also let me know what you would like to see so if you're not a subscriber please click the link below and please do subscribe to the channel so let's get into the video so I'm gonna start with the one that most people tend to recommend as a really great primer and that is benefits professional um, I've heard a lot of great things about this I've seen a lot of great reviews about this product so I thought okay let's give it a go um, and it says it's a pro balm to minimize the appearance of pores and it's oil free lightweight translucent and silky and it is all those things i have to say this is a really great product the consistency of it is really nice let me see if i can just show you so there's a little bit there and you literally just rub it into the skin it disappears instantly a lot of these primers have this kind of um, interesting consistency and it's really difficult to describe exactly what it's like it, it is really lightweight um, and when you actually put it on it does feel like there's there's actually nothing there you can see it completely disappears into my skin and I like this one as well because even though you saw a bit of a color to it, um, it blends into the skin really well. So there's a few primers that didn't really sit well on my skin because they might have been a little bit too white in complexion. So then I'm trying to rub it into my skin to get rid of a, a little bit of that color. But this one just disappears completely into the skin. And it is really good, I have to say. This is a really nice, primer i don't honestly think any of the primers that i have tried um have just stayed on the whole day where you don't have to touch up at all i have had to touch up every single one of them you can pick this up anything between 20 and 25 pounds i can see why people highly recommend it it is a really good primer and I really liked it so I would definitely say check this one out try this one and see what you think moving on and next up is the NYX shine killer and I'm not sure about this one if I'm honest I have to say probably out of all the primers this was my least favorite and the reason why is just the consistency of this one just felt a little bit too greasy for me on my skin. It comes out clear. So I don't even know if you can see that there, but it comes out clear. But when you rub it in, it does disappear. So it's completely disappeared, but it just feels greasy. It just feels more greasy than any of the others. And if you've got oily to combination skin, that's exactly what you're trying to get away from. So I'm rubbing in, rubbing, and I'm rubbing, I'm rubbing. 
but it still feels greasy and I kept thinking okay well it will sink into the skin and it will go once it's settled onto the skin after a little while and it does it does to a point but I just no it just didn't work for me um, it's not a bad product it says eliminates the look of excess oil and shine leaving skin looking matte and fresh all day can be worn over under and without makeup so I don't know if you've got really oily and combination skin then I think maybe this is not the one for you um, but if it's not too bad if your skin's not too oily then yeah absolutely give it a try it's 11 pounds it costs about 11 pounds so it's quite reasonable in price I thought I would give it a go because I did hear some some really great stuff about it it's just that residue of product that's still kind of there I can still feel it and it's still kind of sitting there and out of all the primers this was the one that I like the least so it's just my least favorite I'm afraid so next up is Maybelline and this is the master prime and this is the blur plus smooth 100 and I have to say I am absolutely pleasantly surprised by this I really like this product I think it's a really really nice product oh Max is back Max is back is back <laughs> um, yeah I really like this I thought it was lovely when I first saw it and opened it and saw that it was white I was like oh no this is gonna be um, a nightmare and it's not gonna blend very well but it's really lovely because it's just like a cream it's just like putting a cream on your skin so it's a slightly different consistency to some of the others and as you can see there it just blends straight away so no problem with blending it's not too greasy not too sticky it really did help to smooth out those lines and I've got larger pores mainly in this kind of area here and I did see the difference when I use this it is very lightweight and I was just really really genuinely surprised by this I I wasn't sure what to expect to be honest but I thought it was lovely I picked this up for about 10 pounds I think it was and um, yeah I have to say that this is definitely one of my favorites so this is the Maybelline Master Prime moving on to this product which is it cosmetics and this is the bye bye pores primer now i know it cosmetics have been in the us for quite a while now and they were recently launched in the uk i think maybe about a month or two ago and i believe that it's exclusive to selfridges so i think that's correct but don't quote me on it but i think that's correct um and i've heard great things about it cosmetics so i really wanted to try this out and again it's really nice i really really do like this primer it's um tube is quite interesting a little bit different to the norm and it has a squeezy pump there so again another product that comes out white but you really don't what you'll see here actually is that i've squeezed <laughs> too much onto my hand because you really don't need too much of this which is really great it does blend in well and it will blend in just have to give it a little bit of time so this is one of the products that needs a little bit more blending as you can see on my skin tone um, and I was a little bit worried because when I did pick this up and when I did get this product I did when I first put it on I did think to myself oh no this is um another one of those products that is probably a little bit too white in color for me it's not going to blend very well but as you can see you just have to give it a little bit of a massage in and it blends in no problem and you really don't need too much of this which is which is great so i do tend to put my primers all over my face i'll be honest because i just really feel like even though it's mainly the t-zone area that's a problem for me i do feel like i just want to put it all over because i do feel that i get shiny in other parts um, of my face so 
I tend to put it all over. You don't necessarily need to. Um, you can just stick to the T-zone and that means that your primers will obviously go a long way and go a lot further. But I really like this. It Cosmetics was developed with um, plastic surgeons and dermatologists and it's been hugely, hugely popular in the States. So it's great to see over here. Even though, if I'm honest, I'm not sure this particular product is available in the UK yet. I actually bought mine online on eBay because I was searching for it. This was just before it came to the UK. I was actually looking for this anyway. Um, and I found somebody selling it on eBay and so I picked it up from there. Um, and I have had a look online and I can't actually see this for sale um, at the moment unless you kind of look on eBay and Amazon and places. So I'm sure you'll be able to find it, but I'm just not sure you can actually go into Selfridges or into a store and actually pick it up. But um, this is paraben free, cruelty free, oil free, and it's nice. I really like it. I know my daughter China really likes this one as well. Um, this is one of her favorite ones too. It blends in really lovely um, and it does make your skin look that bit more flawless. So I bought this for about 20 pounds, like I said, online on eBay, Amazon. And um, yeah, another one of my favorites. So I would definitely recommend this one. So this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. And next up, gosh, there are so many primers on the market at the moment. Oh, it's so confusing. So I'm going to talk about Smashbox. And again, this is another very highly recommended primer. This is the Photo Finish Foundation Primer Pore Minimizing and again it's really difficult to choose between these primers to be honest because they're all very similar they all do a really good job um and this is another one this is another one that is really good um again a slightly different consistency this one is slightly thicker oh see it's a slightly thicker consistency so it's definitely not as thin not as liquidy not as um creamy base but it blends in again fabulously absolutely no problem with that blends in straight away again it's not too greasy it's not too sticky actually feels quite nice and and dry and light so anything that makes my face feel dry <laughs> i love it i love it straight away i do i love it i love it so this is a really good one i know again my daughter china loves this one i think this is another of her favorites this one and it cosmetics are her two favorites um and it does make a difference i have seen a difference in the pores here that are slightly larger on my skin here it does smooth those out it says here that it absorbs oil for up to eight hours of flawlessly smooth, shine-free skin. Well, maybe, maybe on some people that's true, but I haven't found it personally with any of them, to be honest. I do feel that um, my skin does still shine through after a few hours, so I haven't actually found anything that completely gets rid of shine for up to eight hours. Um, but definitely these primers do help just to keep it at bay just a little bit longer and this one is another great one i think i bought this for 28 pounds from boots so a little bit more on the prices side than some of the others that i've spoken about but it's worth the money and you honestly don't need much either this is 30 mil and these primers should last quite a while depending obviously on how much you use and how often you wear makeup um, and also what's good about these primers is you can put them on over your makeup as well so you can put them on under makeup over makeup with no makeup <laughs> it's completely your child yeah i'm struggling at the moment to really kind of like pick um my favorites because most of them are really good and it's just a case of trial and error just see which ones you like but um i've got one more to go and then i will pick my top three out of all of them so this one is a smashbox photo finish pore minimizer and finally gosh this video <laughs> 
is going to be a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. But finally, we've got Givenchy and we've got the Mr. Matte, and this is the Mr. Matte Primer. And this is the one that I've been using for the longest. I bought this quite a while ago uh, after hearing how great this was for oily skin. Have been using it for quite a long time. It is really, really very good. Um, it's a silicone based primer so it has that consistency that's similar to the others again it's very clear very sheer it blends into the skin literally straight away it's very similar to the other products i'd probably say more so to maybe like the nyx product a little bit um it just has that kind of consistency disappears straight away not too greasy um, and yeah, it's just another really good primer. This retails at about £28 and I've not had a problem with this primer. So I've been using it for a long time. So another really good primer. Phew, what a long video. <laughs> so after all of that, the three that I'm going to pick as my top three and my favourites are these three. I'm going to go with the It Cosmetics, the Maybelline and the Benefit Pore Professional. I just really like the consistency of these three. I like the way that my skin looked. I really did feel like they minimised pores and they helped to get rid of some of that shine. Not all of the shine. Um, but they definitely did help to just try and control that shine a little bit more. I just felt that they were really good on my skin. It's not to say that the other products aren't great also. Obviously, everybody's skin is different, so it can be trial and error as to what works best for you. But for me, I have to go with these three. Um, they just seem to suit my skin the best. So these are my favorites. Well, that's it for this video. I hope that it has helped you. <laughs> Sorry if it was a bit long, but I hope that it has really helped you. And if you've got any other recommendations for great primers for oily combination skin, I would really, really love to know. So please leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite primer is. And if you're not already a subscriber, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I hope that this has helped you and I shall see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.